The thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland that sits low on the front of the neck. Thyroid gland creates and produces hormone that play a role in many different systems throughout your body. If your body makes too much thyroid hormone, you can develop a condition called hyperthyroidism. And if your body makes too little thyroid hormone, it is called as hypothyroidism. Both conditions are serious and requires immediate attention. Here we will discuss about hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is also known as underactive thyroid. Hypothyroidism can affect people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. It is a common condition, particularly among women over age 60. Women are generally more likely to develop hypothyroidism after menopause than earlier in life. Symptoms of hypothyroidism usually develop slowly and you may not realize you have a medical problem for several years. Symptoms of hypothyroidism Here is an easy mnemonic to remember the symptoms of hypothyroidism. The mnemonic is, Mom's so tired. M stands for, Memory loss. O stands for obesity. M stands for malar flush. S stands for slowness. S stands for skin and hair become dry. O stands for onset of hypothyroidism is gradual. T stands for tired. I stands for intolerance to cold. R stands for raised blood pressure. A stands for energy level. Patients with hypothyroidism have low energy levels. D stands for depressed. Some other symptoms include weight gain, constipation, muscle aches and weakness muscle cramps, loss of sex drive, pain, numbness and a tingling sensation in the hand and fingers, irregular periods, or heavy periods. Causes of hypothyroidism Most cases of an underactive thyroid are caused by the immune system attacking the thyroid gland and damaging it or by damage that occurs as a result of treatments for thyroid cancer, or an overactive thyroid. The primary causes of hypothyroidism can include thyroiditis, inflammation of the thyroid, treatment of hyperthyroidism, radiation, or surgical removal of the thyroid, iodine deficiency, Iodine is a mineral that your thyroid uses to make hormones in your body. One of the other cause of hypothyroidism is hereditary conditions. How can we diagnose it? A blood test measuring your hormone levels is the only accurate way to find out whether there is a problem. The test called as thyroid function test is performed to check the levels of thyroid stimulating hormone and thyroxine in the blood. A high level of TSH and a low level of T4 in the blood could mean you have an underactive thyroid. If the test results show raised TSH, but normal T4, you may be at risk of developing an underactive thyroid in the future. Treatment of Hypothyroidism 
in most cases, hypothyroidism is treated by replacing the amount of hormone that your thyroid is no longer making. This is typically done with medications. One medication that is commonly used is called levothyroxine. Hypothyroidism is a manageable disease. However, you will need to continuously take medication to normalize the amount of hormones in your body for the rest of your life. With careful management and follow-up appointments with your healthcare provider, to make sure your treatment is working properly, you can lead a normal and healthy life. Physiotherapy for Hypothyroidism People with hypothyroidism tend to be weak in their skeletal stabilizers, that means, the muscles that lie close to the skeleton are not working well, leading to poor posture and pain. This type of pain can be experienced in the neck, upper back, lower back, hips, knees, ankles and shoulders. Simple posture and core stability exercises can help to avoid pain or reduce and eliminate pain that has already started. The therapist working with a patient with hypothyroidism in the acute care setting must be aware that dry, edematous skin is prone to breakdown or tears. Prevention may be a key goal for the therapist to keep in mind and should work to monitor and relieve pressure points on the sacrum, coccyx, elbows and heels whenever necessary. Exercise therapy helps to rebuild activity tolerance, increase muscle strength and reduce apathy secondary to the decreased metabolism caused by the disorder. But exercise to help correct such problems should only be implemented once the patient has begun hormone replacement therapy, otherwise the issues cannot be resolved. Many patients with hypothyroidism have comorbid heart conditions, increasing aerobic activity can have benefits on the cardiovascular health of the patient and reduce risk factors for cardiac events. Subscribe the YouTube channel for more informative videos and press bell icon.